You big on manifestation. I'm big on manifestation, but I go and get it though. Yeah. Some people just sit around and manifest all day and don't do anything about it. You can write that down a million times. You could make the affirmations, write down the affirmations every morning. Yeah. I write down, I don't write down my affirmations every morning. I write down reasons why I'm grateful to be alive every morning. Yeah. Three reasons every morning. But um, I like to dream build. I fly. I will. I'm going to Atlanta in a week. Mm-hmm. I'm going to Atlanta in a week for, for a beautypreneur yes. conference, a boot camp. Yeah. First time went not first time, but I went to Atlanta in July and I brought another business owner from the Boston area with me. And yeah. then this time I'm bringing four girls with me. Oh, so four. Great Y'all are really deep. Yeah, it all was right. actually the panel. I spoke on a panel um, a couple weeks ago, and all of us are going to Atlanta next week. You going flying out? No, he was. He took. You I better fly it. that man out. He took pictures for me for the panel. All right. Yeah. And he'll take pictures for you next week. I'm all right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Make yeah, the big bucks. Yeah. It was a good time. Yeah. Good time. yeah. So yeah. is there anything that you're going to create for people out here that's going to inspire them to do things maybe you do? I'm going to create something for the women, but I'm not going to say anything about what it. What did I do to you? I'm gonna <laughs> that's what I want to know. You're a man. All right. I'm going to save it for the women, um, for the uh, ladies. Thanks. No, on a serious note, though, in, in Boston specifically, like the, the entrepreneurship man. energy here is so dead. Oh, yeah. something needs to be done about that. And one thing I always say is that if you don't see the room, create the room. I have a Instagram live segment called Women Talk Wednesdays. I go live with other entrepreneurs from all over um, every Wednesday at 7 p.m. on Pretty in Pain's page. Yeah. Check it out. I save all of the lives, every single one. And I've had, I started out in 2021. And since then, I've had some big bosses on and as of recently, a lot of the bosses that I've had on are people that I've actually flown out and met in Atlanta. Mm-hmm. So one of those women that I had on, I will be going to her beauty conference next week. And it's going to be a boot camp for like eight hours. Mm. We're going to be learning about commercial property. There will be realtors there speaking. There will be graphic designers, marketers. There will be a women who own four different salons, six different salons in Atlanta or have different franchises all over the United States and they will be speaking and I had to be in the room. Yeah. That wasn't going to miss me. Yeah, no, nah, for real. No. That's a big opportunity. Yeah. But you would never do that here? I would. Oh, create the room here. Yeah, create the because room. Because it's not as, as accessible as, as as it is that in the South. No. Nah, you know, it's yeah. everywhere. I can yeah. go to Atlanta right now and find diff- three different networking yeah, events. You know what I mean? Say, yeah, no, nah, for real. So... That's really the people city have been asking areas. me. Yeah. People have been you go, asking bro. me, especially you after go. the paneling event. Yeah. So I have something coming. If it's, I mean, if you can include guys, that would be nice. To, oh be no, for sure. I no, it would. It has to be inclusive because honestly, the amount of men that came up to me after that paneling event and said that they needed that, you know, to start their business or to keep going with their brand. Mm. So it's men nice. need it too. Yeah. Men. Right. <laughs> oh, for, sure. for sure for just, sure just, for sure just one just one one guy just one guy yeah just need, like that one guy then the we're good too. yeah 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 sis yeah. and bro sis and bro co-ed i like that for sure. working together networking black excellence i feel like we got so much closer during this podcast you think right, so guys i feel like we can all like rejoice <laughs> yeah we and, definitely can. Uh, be on this path together. I'm just making stuff up at this yeah, point. Yeah, keep going. You're doing well. Okay. Be on this, this on path together. Too. An opera. Uh, the, uh, I guess I don't know. Yeah, you're doing well. Entrepreneur. 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 I'm Haitian. Entrepreneurship. Entrepreneur. We can be on this path of entrepreneurship mm-hmm. together. Because purpose is power. With my nails too. I ain't gotta be careful because you got you girls expensive. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. All right, guys. Okay, All right, Chanel. So. I'm 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 grateful that you gave this time to me because you know I'm I was, grateful you asked me to be a part of your time. Of course, of course, of course. Yeah, for sure. Of course. Mm-hmm. Of course. Yeah. This is when I just drag the podcast it's out. Okay. Are we like wrapping up now? Like rapping? Because I could rap. Oh, no, you don't have to rap. I thought you were rapping. 
the way you were struggling with on- saying entrepreneurship, I thought that was your way of like starting some bars. Maybe. Oh, you can actually like do a little something. <laughs> yeah, girl, you're like you're kind of surprised stop, stop. me. They just want me a podcast. That's it. No, it wasn't bad. They want to make it. They want me to make it. Out so, what do you do? The way. Huh? You're just talking about me. What do you do? Yo, I just be out here for real. You feel me? I don't really be doing shit. I be out the way. I be chilling. That's what that's what the niggas like. What to is say. your profession? I be ch- um. Making money. <laughs> um, As we all are. Yeah. Um, profession. What is my profession? Guys, what is my profession? <laughs> what is my profession? So you know what I want to say my profession is? What's your profession? I like to um, help people be their best selves. I would say I'm... I want to say I'm an entrepreneur. I just... What's up? You could say a motivational speaker, but sometimes I don't really give a fuck about what other people are doing. So I just be motivation for myself, mm. and I just speak in, and people be like, oh, yeah, I like that guy. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't really be out here Comes talking out natural. about- Just, yeah. Naturally. When I feel like it, when I'm passionate about it, like yeah. people know that I'm like, hey, guys, you know, you got to get your stuff together because X, Y, and Z, you don't want to be this age and looking back and regretting life. So- what I started with. Mm-hmm. Oh, you want to hear my story? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. We got another 30 minutes left. <laughs> Shit. You want to hear my story? All For right. sure. All right, Sterling, ready? <laughs> All right, bro. He's like, set up the camera. Like, I'm a young boy from Brockton. You feel me? Get out of the mud type shit. You know what I'm saying? People were telling me like, yo, Vlad, you ain't going to make it. You ain't going to make it. I was like one of them kids in high school that was kind of nerdy for real. Because, like, I grew up in a single-family household. No one really wanted to talk to me. I was a weird kid. You know what I'm saying? You don't look weird. I know. I'm sexy as fuck now. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, these hoes are mad. I'm telling you. So, yeah, boom. So, so I'm in high school. Yeah. People, like, rock on me, not really rock on me. I wasn't really with the black crowd, but I wasn't really with the white crowd. I was, like, in the middle. You know what Mm -hmm. I'm saying? People could just rock with Vlad, like, oh, yeah, Vlad. And then growing up in high school, I kind of hit that, um, like, when I was junior, senior year, I started partying. I started going out. Mm-hmm. So, like, a lot of people know me in Brockton. Just being outside, it's not the best thing to be known about. It's Brockton. I know. Everybody's outside in Brockton. Nah, what did I tell real. you about Brockton? I for real. I don't go to Brockton. <laughs> but, yeah, but that was the place to have the littest house I know, parties. I know. I've been. Yeah. You've been to a bachelor Never in going Brockton? again. Are you Never serious? going again. Bullets are just a little why excitement. We, They're not. Why like, are we shooting when we should be dancing? I just don't understand. Because you can't just not end the party with bullets. That's just like, that's like <laughs> not ending that's the cake with. That's something somebody from Brockton would say. <laughs> yeah. That's something somebody from Brockton would say. <laughs> Damn, my fault. <laughs> it's like, that's like not putting the um, frosting on a cake. You feel me? Like, and then the frosting just might end your life. <laughs> Who knows? Well, that's the excitement of it. Well, like, okay, now I'm romanticizing it. You're right. The bullets bad, mm. but at least you know you got something to talk about for a couple months. Like, oh, yo, you remember when we almost lost our life at Az party? Oh yeah, I remember that because you were doing da 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 with the other shorty. Oh shit, I do remember that because you know you were doing. So it's like it's memories for who survives. Great. Love I, that for I you. know so now I'm not. Love Let me just continue with the story. Yeah, keep going. All right, so Sterling, right? Man, I'm out here trying to like, yo, really figure out what's my thing out here. You know what I'm saying? Um, really a uh, side segment of how I kind of got into content creation. Mm-hmm. Funny thing is, my younger brother is actually the photographer and videographer. He's much better than probably anything I could do. Mm-hmm. What I wanted to do was intentionally kind of do YouTube when I was young. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, like I can just like create stuff and get paid for it. Oh my God. Like why, why not? Like who wouldn't do that? (laughs) Because I wasn't educated on, um, you know, money, uh, schooling, uh, how much, uh, college is, uh, spend loans, income, all those things that you probably learned around your path to become a better entrepreneur, mm-hmm. people how you network with, how to present yourself, 
how to love yourself so other people that are hating on you can kind of um uh you can create ba- boundaries with yeah right am yeah. i speaking true so far boundaries are healthy boundaries are healthy yep thing so <laughs> long story short i had this game playing it's, i played this game called dc universe it was on playstation 2 playstation 3 whatever um and i love that you know what I'm talking about, Sterling, right? <laughs> you, you know that, cuz. So I really was like, yo, I love this game so much. That's all I ever played because, you know, reason I have, you know, my physique and, you know, how I look and all that stuff because I did track in high school. I played ball. But all I did was my escape from life was that game mm-hmm. and, you know, sports. Yeah. I only escape because I had other things going on. That's for a different podcast. Mm-hmm. You express yourself, so I'm just gonna do yeah. you the respect of doing it myself because I don't like to do it that much. No problem. Because I'm a strong guy, and people and women are supposed to like lean on me and say like, "Oh my god, like I love how you're so nonchalant." That's alive. for another podcast. Why is that toxic? It's not toxic, but like yeah. vulnerability is important. Yeah, vulnerability is hot, right? Say it. You gotta say it because the men won't take it anywhere else. Vulnerability is attractive. Now you set them up. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> they want to cry in front of me, like, nah, please, why? Send me should, pictures of the diary. You should have, <laughs> you should have, please book me. Let me book you. That's so funny. So, um, I wanted to create stuff so, so much on the internet, but um, I got the parting. I honestly, believe it or not, I did not drink or smoke till I was 21 because, in respect to my mama. But that's good. Yeah, yeah. I was not hard. a lot of people. Funny thing living is living in America. <laughs> yeah. Did not make it there. Yeah, that's great. That's good. And I didn't realize how serious that was till I was 21, 22, 23. Because mm-hmm. clubbing was introduced. And Got, I realized so it was that all was all together. Yeah, it was all together. It was a norm. Yeah. So that period of time when I was 21, 22, I was learning a lot of stuff with weed and alcohol. How it pertains to my body. Mm-hmm. It was not a fun trip. <laughs> it, honestly, every night I, I was probably messed up. Especially as a, a former athlete. Yeah, especially as a former athlete. Uh, how it affects your body, how it affects your mind. And also, you don't really realize, you know, how powerful saying no was. Because mm-hmm. now it's easy for things just to uh, bypass your boundaries because yep. it's a normal thing now. Yep. Like, oh, yeah. Take this, you ain't going to take this shot of Casa, bro? Or Henny? Sorry, yeah. sorry. Or whatever. <laughs> I mean, switch it up. In respects to your favorite Yeah, drink. you ain't going to take this you know, shot of Henny, yeah. bro. You ain't trying to... Like, yeah. So, I understand, you know, you uh, creating the room is how you kind of just be yourself without all those things yeah. coming to you, right? Yeah. All those things affecting you. Yeah. And I didn't have that bubble when I was 21, 22, because I thought it was, like, innocence. I mm-hmm. thought it wasn't that deep. Yeah. 